is up guys, it is Joe here from Joe Talks Wrestling and today I am bringing you another how to make video. So, what we're doing today ladies and gentlemen is I'm teaching you guys how to make your very own Blue Universal Championship replica belt. Now, there is some requirements that are very, very important in this. The first one being you need either a WWE Championship replica or a Universal Championship replica. This is a must. You can't do this project without a replica belt. And it has to be a replica, not a commemorative, because you need the screws on the back that enable you to take the plates off. So, essentially, you actually, you know what, you can do this with a commemorative, but you can't remove the plates. You're going to have to turn the strap uh, blue and then you can't turn it back. So, what I am doing, ladies and gentlemen, is I bought on eBay a WWE Championship replica replacement strap. This is the exact strap that's on this championship. Just someone was selling theirs on eBay for about £25. Uh, I've got it right there, as you can see. And what I'm going to be doing is using Angus, I believe it's Angus. Uh, it might not be, I might have said that wrong, but blue leather paint. Plain blue, let me go and grab it. This paint right here, Angus uh, blue leather acrylic paint it has to be their normal blue as you can see uh not the other there's like loads of different shades of blue you just want the normal blue uh because this is the right color uh, a lot of you may not have realized but wwe shops replica universal championships the blue version the blue isn't actually the right tone of blue it is too light it's like a baby blue when the real blue universal championship is just a normal darkish uh normal blue so what i'm going to be doing is dyeing my leather replacement strap it's not leather uh my fake leather replacement strap that i got on ebay for 25 pounds dyeing it with this angerless blue paint uh paint that i got off of amazon for 10 pounds and i'm basically going to be switching out my plates with this here wwe championship replica onto that strap so i essentially have a blue universal championship this way uh the reason i'm doing this personally is so when i do reaction videos and stuff i can have a universal championship now i know what a lot of you are probably thinking you're thinking but joe this is a wwe championship if you look at the banner on the bottom it says world heavyweight champion not universal champion i'm aware of that and it doesn't bother me However, if you want to do this with a WWE replica, then you can go to beltaddiction.com and buy Lexan Championship banners for this championship that say whatever you want them to. So, if you want to make a Universal Championship banner for about 40 quid, be my guest. It just sticks straight over your uh, championship. So, if you're doing this with a Universal, you're going to run into another issue. You're going to have to paint the swoosh from black to red. I'm not doing this, so I'm not going to be covering this. All I'm doing in this video is turning my, my black replacement strap into a blue strap. That's all we're doing, then switching the plates out to make your very own Blue Universal Championship. So without further ado, let's have a look at exactly what we need. Now, real quick before I get into the requirements of what you're going to need to do this project, I saw a guy called Sunset Flip Reviews do this uh, before I did. I figured out how to do this through him. Now, we did a few things differently. He used a red Universal Championship with the black swoosh and he painted that red strap blue. Um, I'm not doing this. Obviously, I'm doing it with the WWE Championship, but I will link his video in the description down below as I feel he was the one that gave me the idea to do this video. So you can watch his video as well. Check out how he did. It turned out really well. Let's hope it turns out well for me as well. For this project, you will need a WWE or Universal replica belt. This one is optional, but a replacement strap for a replica belt if you don't want to ruin your current one. Angelus or Angelus blue acrylic leather paint. A large variety of paint brushes varying from big to small. Some kitchen roll and some old newspaper to make sure that you don't get any paint on the surface that you are working on. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so the actual replica belt uh, the main part with all the plates, you're gonna like not actually need this until the very end. So go ahead, display this wherever you had it, put it back in your cabinet, uh, put it back on the wall, wherever your replica belt was, uh, go put it back. Because until this project is finished, you are not gonna need it. And uh, all you're gonna need from it anyway is the plates. So go put it somewhere safe, wherever you had it initially, um, because it's really not necessary until this project is done. Now, the first thing that I'm going to do before I even lay a finger 
uh, on this belt, before I start painting this belt, before I do anything, the first thing that I'm gonna wanna do is actually cover up these snaps. So the male snaps and the female snaps need to be covered up. Uh, if you're not got a very good, like steady hand when it comes to painting things, this is what you're gonna wanna be doing. So instead of taping, because I'm really not good at taping in small areas, I'm just gonna give this a try, uh, covering up with blue tack. I'm gonna try and put blue tack uh, to pretty much exact over all of these snaps and hope for the best. If it doesn't work, I do have a bit of a steady hand when it comes to painting, so there might be a bit of paint uh, on one of the snaps here and there, but it doesn't really bother me too much. Um, other than that, I just wanna mention that all you're gonna need to be painting is the front of the strap and the edges of the strap. The actual backing itself on the real Blue Universal is black, so you're not gonna wanna worry about doing this. All you need is these edges right here, and of course, the front of the belt. So, without further ado, let's get right into the actual painting. Okay, so the first coat is done. Uh, obviously, I'm painting onto black, whereas the other guy, Sunset Flip Reviews, he painted onto red. So mine might need a few more layers. I believe he did two. Um, I am going to leave this for about an hour or so, then come back and do a second coat, and we'll basically see from there. I reckon I'm going to need three or four coats, but we shall see. Uh, on the snaps, um, obviously these snaps are a bit beat up anyway, but um, I didn't. I tried not to get any blue on them. Uh, these, this side of it isn't too bad. However, this side, this is a bit messy uh, to say the least. Now, I'm not too bothered because you're not gonna be seeing the snaps uh, during the reaction videos or whenever I use this strap. So it don't bother me too much. Top ones are all right. Bottom ones aren't. Um, <laughs> but yeah, that's the first coat. The blue is spot on, in my opinion. Uh, the camera doesn't really do it justice, but even now you can tell this blue is exact. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna leave it for an hour and we shall do the second coat then. So I will see you in an hour. Okay, so I've just got back from the post office, uh, sending some figures to my boys, uh, Will Nero and Fix31. And basically, I was going to do a second coat, but I looked at the actual bottle of the uh, the leather dye, and it said leave 48 hours before use, which means I know what's going to happen. If I do another coat now, the paint will chip, uh, the actual dye that I put on beforehand. So what I'm going to do is I've put it in the shed. I'm going to leave it there for 24 hours, and I'll have my second coat tomorrow. If that's not good enough, I'll do a third coat the day after, etc., etc. So I'll see you guys either tomorrow or in a couple of days. Okay, so here I am two days later with a finished WWE Blue Universal Replica Championship belt. This is a custom Blue Universal, and oh my God, has it turned out great. Now, I had my suspicions when I first dyed this strap. I spoke to a very popular belt YouTuber, the person that got me into championship belts. I spoke to Hazard F5, and I asked him, you know, if I was to dye a replica strap, would it work? And he said, probably not. Uh, but then when I saw Sunset Flip Reviews video, I thought I had to give it a try for myself. Uh, I wouldn't put my mind at ease unless I at least gave it a shot. So all in all, for £30 um, for the paint and the strap itself together, this is not bad. And I crapped all over the Universal Championship when the first blue design was unveiled. And honestly, I have to say, when you've got it in person, not the replica, because the replica strap is too light in my opinion, uh, so I'm not a fan of that. But when it's the real color of the real belt, this isn't actually that bad. Uh, obviously, I still prefer the Red Universal Championship all day long, um, but I can't complain. I think I did a really good job. Um, obviously, on these snaps, uh, there's like no paint on any of them. Uh, but when, when you get to this side, uh, it gets a bit sloppy. Obviously the backing is sloppy um, because the blue dye goes through all the holes. There's not a lot I could really do about that. And I don't care because you're not gonna see the back anyway. Um, so yeah, this is my WWE Blue Universal Championship just to check the flexibility of it once again. Obviously over the shoulder, it sits, you know, just as good as a replica is going to this side. Uh, on this side, obviously we have the gold tip. So it sits a little bit more. Um, around the waist, we're just going to quickly 
swivel it round just like any other belt. It does up, no hassle at all. Uh, do up a couple of snaps. There you go. Spin that thing round. And there you go, Blue Universal Championship round the waist. I think it looks rather fitting on me. Uh, <laughs> but um, yeah, there's not really much else I can say from this distance. So let's get up close and personal and take a greater look, a more detailed look at my custom Blue Universal Championship. Let's go. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here is my WWE custom Blue Universal Championship. Now, try not to focus on the plates too much because there's a lot of defects and this isn't about the plates, such as the missing red or the missing gems. This is about the strap, obviously the strap that I hand painted myself. Now, surprisingly enough, this only took two coats and this was on black. This wasn't like I was painting on the red strap. This two coats on the black and you can't see any black anymore. It's literally all blue. It's pretty much the exact same blue that's on the real Universal Championship, uh, as you can see. Now, what I was saying about the messy snaps here, obviously, <laughs> uh, I'm not very good when it comes to trying to paint around these things. I have got blue paint on the vast majority of these. There are some on the top that aren't too bad, uh, but this side is bad. But yeah, coming from this side, obviously, all the blue... Uh, coming across, obviously, we've got all the simulated tooling here. Um, I believe the clamshell tooling all here that I have completely covered up. Now, I have done this whole strap, as you can see. I haven't just left black underneath where the plates will sit. The whole thing is dyed blue. Uh, even the backing, obviously, once again, you saw it was like an extra piece of material. I didn't take that off. I just painted straight over it. And yeah, there isn't much else I can go into detail about because this isn't a belt review. You don't need to know the ins and outs of the actual stock strap. Uh, these snaps, I got a little bit of blue paint here and there, but for the most part, these are nice. Um, obviously, there's wear and tear on these snaps anyway. Um, but yeah, this all this is pretty much all I need to show you guys. I don't want this video to go too long, but here it is, Blue Universal Championship. It's much better than the replica, in my opinion, the colour of it. If I owned a Blue Universal Championship replica, I would have dyed it blue anyway, uh, because the blue is too light. But uh, fortunately for me, I no longer need to own one, because I have this one right here. Now, once again, I am aware it says World Heavyweight Champion. Now, belt addiction, like I've previously mentioned, do Lexan banners. If you want to do the same as me, you can get a banner made. I don't know how much it is. I believe it's like £40. Uh, you can get a Lexan material banner made that says Universal Champion if you so wish. But I'm not going to be doing that. What this belt is for is mainly for like predictions videos, reaction videos. Um, it's not going to go on display. Whenever I've got it on display, it's just going to be on its black strap. Because after all, it is the WWE Championship, not the Universal. But yeah, once again, ladies and gentlemen, this is my video of how to make it. And uh, this is pretty much all I need to show you. So let's get into the outro. Let's go. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That is my tutorial as to you guys can make your very own custom Blue Universal Championship if you own a WWE Championship replica belt. Now, this doesn't just apply to the Blue Universal Championship. Say, for example, you wanted to make the Red Universal Championship out of a WWE title replica. You could do the same thing. Paint this red swoosh black dye the black strap red it's plain and simple of course it's still gonna say world heavyweight but who really cares um and yeah that was my tutorial all of the items i used so basically the one item the leather dye i will be linking in the description below on amazon uk and amazon.com for you uh, europeans and for you americans out there that want to try and do the same thing but there you go. I think it has come out really nicely. Uh, I've just got stock side plates on there because I don't actually own a set of side plates for someone that has held the championship. And I don't necessarily agree with someone. Um, I don't like it when people put side plates on the championship as someone that's never held it. So um, I, uh, well, I have Lesnar side plates. I have Rollin side plates. Uh, but they never held this specific version, so I'm not going to put them on there. When I have this Universal Championship, they're just stock WWE side plates. Um, and yeah, so this video um, is over, uh, and it's also over 10 minutes. So hopefully, um, what's it called? <laughs> Ad revenue, uh, but that's not going to happen. And yeah, once again, ladies and gentlemen, I do hope you enjoyed. I've been Joe from Joe Talks Wrestling. You guys have been awesome. This has been my custom Blue Universal Championship. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.
Goodbye.